guys welcome back okay so today as you read by the title I did create my own palette inspired by the shroud cosmetics arcana palette and the reason why I am kind of creating a dupe palette for that today is because I've really been fighting myself with not purchasing this palette I'm kind of happy with the size of my collection right now and I'm trying really hard not to just buy palettes, even if it's amazingly beautiful and I really want it because I have so many singles. I do want to kind of train myself to try and recreate or dupe those palettes as closely as possible. Now, this palette, this Arcana palette, I'm looking at the website right now. It's so gorgeous, but it's a very unique palette, at least in my opinion, it is. I mean... All of the colors in this palette are absolutely gorgeous. All the shimmers, all the mattes, beautiful and extremely unique. So while I know that the shadows that I chose from my collection are not going to be dupe shadows, I'm hoping that they're at least close enough for me to be able to create a look and <laughs> kind of get rid of that urge to buy this palette because right now it's on sale for $42.00. It's usually $47, which is pretty pricey for an eyeshadow palette. That's almost 50 bucks, okay, for an eyeshadow palette. And while that wouldn't be the most expensive palette I've ever purchased, I ain't in the mood to pay that right now <laughs> for a palette. So anyways, that's what I'm doing today. I know I've been yak, yak, yakking, but just to give you some reasoning behind what I'm doing today. Now, I also want to say before I jump into showing you guys the shadows that I chose from my collection for this dupe palette or inspired palette is I really just want to say that I pray that you guys are healthy, staying safe. I pray that your families are safe and healthy. I know that it's a very tough time right now. A lot of people are anxious, worried, concerned. Some people are um, experiencing the sickness in their own families and loved ones. I just want to say that I'm praying for you guys. I pray for this country. I also want to just say thank you to all of the service providers, people that are out there every single day putting themselves at risk, you know, while we're at home quarantine, trying to stay safe and keep them safe. They're out there putting themselves at risk every day, whether it be cashiers, you know, fast food restaurant workers nurses, doctors, you know, everyone that's out there coming in contact with people repeatedly every day. People that work at Target, CVS, where we're going to try and find this toilet tissue and stuff. Just make sure you keep them in your prayers because while we're at home, safe in our homes, protecting ourselves, they're out there being exposed every day. So I just want to give a thank you to you guys, say that you're in my prayers and let's just hope and pray that we get through this. <sighs> yeah, let's just hope and pray that we get through this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try and de-stress with a little bit of makeup. So what I'm going to do, I think, let me just go ahead and put, <laughs> if I haven't already, put a picture of the palette up here so you guys can take a look at it and look at it in its beautiful gloriousness and understand why it is that I really, really want it. Now, I took <laughs> one of my empty uh, Coastal Scents palettes and just filled it up with the shadows that I felt were closest from my singles because I really didn't want to go through all my eyeshadow palettes. I probably have closer matches in my eyeshadow palettes, but I have too many to be looking through. So I just went through my singles <laughs> to find shadows that I thought might be close or at least inspired by that palette. So this is what I came up with. As you can see, these two in the center are square, which is bugging me because I like things to be in uniform, <laughs> but these are the only two shadows that I had were close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you which, you know, the name and company of the shadow, swatch it and put up a picture 
of the swatches from Shroud Cosmetics so you can kind of take a look and see what's going on here. Like I said, they might not be spot on, but this is an inspired by palette, okay? Now, you guys, some of the single shadows that I have are ones that I actually depotted from palettes when I was going through my whole depotting phase. <laughs> so sometimes I have the palette name written on the back and sometimes I don't. So let's just start with the first shade here in the palette. It's called Sacred. It's described as a beautiful rusty red matte shade. Now, the shadow that I chose is this one. It's actually a depotted shadow from one of my BH Cosmetics palette. I believe it was that Artistry palette that they came out with a couple of years ago. Sorry, I don't know the name. I didn't write it on the back, <laughs> but it's definitely from that palette. And so let me go ahead and swatch this. Okay. So that is what that shadow looks like. And hopefully I have a picture of the swatches over here from the Arcana palette. Now the next shade, it seemed to me like it would be so easy for me to dupe. It's called Familiar. It says a velvety rose gold brown metallic shimmer. But as I was looking at the picture and swatching my shadows, I was like, no, that's not quite it. Dang, that's not it. So anyways, the one that I have here is from another BH Cosmetics palette of mine that I depotted. And this is from the Smoky palette. And while I think I might have gotten the color close, um, I don't know about the texture of it, but that is what that, is what that shadow looks like. Very, very pretty. Okay, so the next color from the Shroud palette is called Shroud. <laughs> it is a deep, slightly muted blue-gray matte. And so the one that I have actually came from one of my Carity palettes. And I believe this is the palette, their bright, colorful palette, because I think that's the only Carity palette that I depotted. And so this is the shade out of there. Yeah, it's a little bit dry, but as you can see, it's very, very pigmented. So I'm hoping that it performs better <laughs> outside of the palette than it did inside of the palette because I depotted those because I really wasn't that thrilled with that palette, but I did like some of the colors. The next color in the palette is called Alchemy. It says it's a deep jewel-toned green metallic with a slight teal shift okay so this one i have here is called secret garden and this one is actually one of the old makeup geek shadows i purchased this in december when they had kind of like their sale on their old shadows before they relaunched so this is a shade that i thought was really really gorgeous and had you know a beautiful green tone with a shift in it so that is what that one looks like and I don't think that this one has enough green in it to be a good dupe but I really like this color so <laughs> and it's the closest that I could find but see how it has like a blue green shift okay the next shade in the shroud palette is chalice i believe a super metallic antique gold now the color that i have for that is called fortune teller and this one is one of the old makeup geek shadows as well so that's what that looks like so i thought that one was fairly close it seems to me in the swatch from the palette, it has a little bit, it looks a little bit green to me, but this one, you know, is just really straight gold. Next, we have Entity, which is described as a muted, grungy, mustard matte. And this shadow I actually took out of my Alter Ego palette. Um, which one is it? The Goddess palette. So I just borrowed it for this video and I'll pop it back in when I'm done. <laughs> but this was the closest shadow that I could find to that description. This is a really hard shadow to dupe. 
in my collection very very hard it's kind of like a tan mustardy i don't know it's just a hard color to do so that is what that one looks like if you can even see that now the next shadow is called nocturnal which is a deep purple taupe brown metallic <laughs> okay <laughs> how many of us have a shadow like that to dupe okay yeah so this is basically a shadow i'm sorry i don't even know where this shadow came from i believe this came out of one of my bad habit palettes when i depotted them and i thought that that shadow was probably going to be kind of close very very pretty okay so the next shadow is called relic it's a medium cool taupe brown matte and the shadow that i have the single that i have is another deep potted single this came from my face candy vice palette so this is the one i'm going to use for that and that's what that shade looks like and i think it's fairly close the next shade is called altar a muted burnt orange matte and I'm not really sure um, you know this one it looks kind of light but when looking at the picture and the swatch I kind of feel like this is kind of close to the color this came out of my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe volume 1 palette that very first large palette you know that she did with Morphe I depotted that <laughs> this came out of there and I just have on here written down shadow number nine because I did not put the names I just counted across like this so this is shadow number nine I don't think I really cared enough to put the names and so that is the shadow I have for that Now this next shade is really, really hard for me to find in my singles collection because I don't really gravitate towards red eyeshadow and especially not red shimmers. So this one, I just kind of picked a shade that I felt was somewhat close, but <laughs> it's not going to be a dupe. Okay, so this is the shade Paradiso from ColourPop. Gorgeous. See how pretty that is? Yeah. I don't know how close it is, <laughs> but it's going to be close enough today, okay? So that is what that shade looks like. It has Okay, you guys. After I swatched that and saw how much it pulls more magenta, kind of like purpley, um, I thought of another color that might be a closer match, even though it's not a single and I want to use all singles. This is in my Kaleidos Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze palette. This is what this palette looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this red shade in here because I think that might be a closer match. Not as purpley, more on the red side. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely more on the red side. So I think that might be a better match. Maybe not as vibrant, not as shiny, but a better color match, I think. Okay, next we have Darling, which is a deep, dark, muted green. And the shadow that I chose from my singles is another depotted shadow from my Jaclyn Hill palette. This one I just have shade number 32 on the back. <laughs> So this is the 32nd shadow in the palette. So that's the shade I picked for that green. And lastly, another shadow that can be kind of difficult to dupe. It's called Mystic, a gorgeous deep metallic cobalt blue. And so the one that I picked is called Blue My Mind. This is what it looks like. And this one is from Makeup Geek. And so that is what that one looks like. Very, very pretty. It might not be like as dark 
as the one in the palette. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. So this is my ghetto version of the Arcana palette <laughs> from Shroud Cosmetics. Let's go ahead and create a look. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna use some of my e.l.f. All Day Stay eyeshadow primer for this look today. Okay, so this is the hard part. <laughs> figuring out how to create a look with such a beautiful, unique color story. Okay, so I'm gonna take this first shade here, which is this deep red matte, and place that in my crease. Okay, I have that red down in my crease. I wanna kinda of deepen it up a bit. So I think I'm gonna go into this dark green matte shade and use that in my inner and outer corners. I might try to do kinda of like a halo cut crease type look today. Okay, now I'm going to create a slight cut crease with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. Just a slight one, nothing too crazy because I do want to try and keep a little bit of grunginess to this look. Now I'm going to go in with a bit of the green shade here. I like that, that's pretty. Okay, and next to that green, I'm going to go into this beautiful blue shade. Now I wanna go in with a little bit of the dark blue matte shade and place that right next to that blue shimmer. Okay, you guys, I'm back. My complexion is done. The foundation I use today is a little bit, it's a hydrating foundation, so if I look a little glowy, that's why. <laughs> okay, I do wanna make sure that I have the green as a part of this grungy look as well. Since I added the blue, you know, I feel like maybe I kind of lost a bit of that green that I used in the inner and outer. So I'm gonna take that dark green matte and just smoke out my lower lash line. But first I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black eyeliner on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of red just beneath that green. Okay, now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into that super bright gold shade and just pop that in my inner corner. That's bold. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna pop on some lashes and a lip and finish up this video. So this is the final look, you guys. As you can see, I went ahead and did a black lip today. It's not that often I can do a black lip with my eye look. So since I have on this kind of bold, smoky, grungy, blue-green eye look, I said, hey, you know what? Let me throw in a black lip. So I went in with my LA Girl Velvet Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Raven. It's just a black matte lipstick. Very comfortable, though. It's not that drying, uncomfortable type of matte. So this was fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy trying to recreate palettes with what I have 
in my singles. It's a lot easier trying to do it with singles instead of going through all of your regular palettes and trying to find different colors. I have way too many palettes, unfortunately, to do that. But this was really fun. Although I know this is not an exact dupe, I do feel like it gave me the type of look that I would have wanted to create had I purchased the Arcana palette. So I am in no means trying to discourage anyone from purchasing that palette. I think it's gorgeous and I would love to have it myself, but sometimes you need to just kind of chill <laughs> when you have a larger makeup collection. So I'm trying to chill you guys, but this is the look. Hopefully you guys like what I came up with. I'm kind of feeling it, but like I said, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you to kind of break away from the stress and anxiety of what's going on right now and just kind of enjoy some makeup and playing in makeup with me. So thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!